Today, the team of Jeff Slazinski from Canal Lanes takes on the team of Mark Ritchie from Woburn Ball on Candlepin Bowling. We're here at Exeter Lanes in Exeter, New Hampshire for a first round match from the Pro Series Team Tournament. And we're going to show you some highlights from this match between Jeff Slazinski and Mark Ritchie. In this team event, you've got five-man teams that were drawn by a draft between the, uh, the team captains are the, the top 12 bowlers in the, uh, the Pro Series point standing. So the other bowlers that are eligible for this team tournament are placed in a draft pool and the captains draft in order until you've got 12 fairly evenly matched teams. Right now you're looking at Mike Erickson on lane one and Steve Legender on lane two. They were starting off for uh, the teams of Jeff, Jeff, uh, Jeff Slazinski and Mark Ritchie. Steve Legender bowls out of Fico's bowl in Franklin and he and uh, his brother Mike are regulars on all of the, the Pro Series tournaments and they, they were they're well known to everybody in the uh, South Shore area. Mike Erickson bowls out of Candlewood Lanes, and there is a fantastic shot by Mike Erickson for the spare. Let's have another look at this. You'll see, well actually first we'll look at the, the shot by uh, Steve Legender. He takes down the 3610, and now we will look at the, the spare by Mike Erickson on this 12910. Very nicely done right there. Matching spares by Steve and Mike in the second frame. Now you're going to look at Jeff Slazinski on the left lane and Carl Witham on the right lane. These guys are from a long distance apart. Jeff Slazinski is from the western part of Massachusetts. He bowls out of canal lanes in Southampton. Carl Witham is from Bangor, Maine. So to get these two guys together for the same, the same match, uh, there's a lot of driving involved. Jeff has had an excellent year so far on the Pro Series circuit, as you'll recall from uh, some of the earlier matches. In the Ultimate Ladder Tournament at Viking, he made the, uh, made the final ladder. I don't recall exactly what his final position was, but he won several matches to make it to the finals. Jeff is kind of a, a dark horse in the Pro Series field this year. He's kind of a newcomer to the uh, to these events. But he's been a regular on the Western New England Tour for a long time. And I, I'm sure you probably recall having seen him in several appearances on video from uh, the Western New England events. Now I'm uh, I'm breaking with tradition. Normally I don't do voiceovers on uh, matches I'm bowling in, but uh, here you can see I was the number three bowler on Jeff Slazinski's team, and I was bowling against Steve Reno. And Steve, as you know, is a veteran of many years of the Candlepin Wars, and he he was also a uh, founder of the very successful Candlepin for Kids TV show. Steve uh, still has a lot of game. He bowls as a regular on the Pro Series and also on the Western New England Tour. He bowls out of bogey lanes in East Brookfield. Now we're looking at Brandon Marks and Corey Packard. Brandon bowls out of Central Park lanes in East Boston. Corey is from Central Massachusetts. And I think he bowls out of Colonial in Worcester, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Anyway, you'll remember Corey from some earlier appearances on, on the Pro Series. 
one of which he knocked yours truly out of the uh, ultimate ladder in match play. And Corey and Brandon with a couple of tough breaks there. Corey got hit the cap of a piece of wood and that deflected the ball around the four pin. And then Brandon hit that 6-10 two-pinner, but had a tough break again with the wood. There is a strike by Brandon Marks. Let's have another look at this ball. Nice high flush 1-3 pocket hit. And the earthquake effect of the ball causes the camera to shake quite a bit, but that's a strike for Brandon Marks. So now you're going to look at the anchor bowlers, Dave Richards and Mark Ritchie. Dave Richards is uh, probably best known for a couple of distinctions he has on, on the, the old Channel 5 show. He was, uh, he was Paul Berger's opponent the day that, that uh, Berger threw the famous 500 series. But more important, Dave is also the, the, uh, the defending champion on that show. He was, he was the winner on the last Channel 5 show that ever appeared early 1996. And he's still an excellent bowler. He bowls uh, on the, uh, in the Sunday Pro League and also on the Friday Night Pro League. This year he's bowling out of 20th Century Lanes in Hyde Park. Mark Ritchie is a member of Crazy Train in the uh, World Team Tournament. And he's also holder of the world record for high triple with the 519 that he recorded last year at Metro Bowl. So now Jeff Zizinski is up on the right lane with Carl Witham on the left. Jeff got a nice break there, missing the head pin, but getting everything except the head pin. And he takes care of business on the despair. open and they're looking to come up with an out here and he comes up with an eight box <laughs> Steve Reno is a member of the extreme TNT team in the World Invitational Tournament. And there you can see a, a spare I made on the 347. Aided a little bit by some very friendly wood over there that deflected the ball. <clears throat> and a piece of wood behind the 47 that spun around when that 3-pin hit it. But I'll never look a gift horse in the mouth. That was uh, good to get on the board with Mark. Solid. One two pocket hit very, very high on the head pin. He got everything to go. Except the four pin. And he's all over that four pin. Spare in the fourth for Steve Reno. This team tournament is uh, a unique event on the Pro Series schedule. The way it works is the 12 teams are divided up into two divisions. And each team goes through a round-robin qualifying round within its own division. 
after which the there's a strike by Dave Richards. Have another look at this really nice one-two pocket hit. Very robust strike ball by Dave Richards. Anyhow, after the round robin qualifying round, the the uh, divisions are cut down to the top three teams with the best one-loss records in each division. And then they go into bracket match play, similar to what they do at the World Invitational Tournament. And I think the uh, the reasoning for for this tournament was probably to put something uh, with a, a kind of a flavor of the World Tournament into the Pro Series schedule. It's got a lot of the same team intensity, and the format is similar to the World's. Mark Ritchie with nine and a wiggle there, leaving the seven pin. And Mark is all over that seven pin for a spare. That'll be a 10 box for Dave Richards. Steve Legender back up on lane two. You might recall a while back, a few years ago, Steve and Mike Legender bowled against each other on the Comcast Candlepin Challenge. They used to go to a lot of the same TV roll-offs mostly in the, uh, the South Shore circuit. And on, on one occasion, they finished one and two, so they bowled against each other on TV. Misses the head pin, but gets a nice break there, leaving just the four seven couple pieces of wood that don't look. This, this is not automatic. He's going to have to hit it kind of high, probably, to cover the seven pin with that piece of wood that's in front of the four seven. Then he uses the the other piece of wood on the right to push that that wood back into the corner. That's the one. Uh, by Carl Whitten to the spare. Meanwhile, Jeff Suzinski with a good bid on that four drop. Got everything except the five pin. That's a very difficult lead. And he'll take a ten. And Carl Whitten with a strike on spare. Let's take a look at this on replay. Really sturdy one three pocket hit. And he gets the four pin it gets tripped from behind. Strike on spare for Carl Witham. So that does it for this highlight segment. We will be back with some more highlights from this Pro Series team tournament later in the week. 